a professional speaker once said, A great presentation does not just happen. It is planned, rehearsed, then delivered with flair. I've been doing a lot of online presentations recently as a teacher, as a trainer, and as a YouTube creator. And I must say that it's really hard. It's really challenging. Public speaking can be remarkably nerve-wracking. And this is one of the top fears of many people, right? But I must say that with practice, perseverance, and pa patience, I am learning a lot. And I'm getting a lot better every day. One of the biggest lessons I've learned with the years of experience going around the country to give trainings and delivering talks is that to be a great public speaker, it is very important to develop a personal speaking style. Since I know that I am not the most eloquent speaker in the world, I prepare like every presentation will be my last. Online presentations are the norm now that more people are working from home. For many, moving from in-person to online presentations may bring a new set of challenges to overcome. Yes, presenting online and in-person are two different stories. In this discussion, I am here to share with you some practical tips that you can do prior to your presentation that will help you calm your nerves and to set up for a better presentation. Are you ready? Number one, practice. It is but natural that we rehearse our presentation multiple times. While it can be difficult for those with overwhelming schedule like me to spare time to practice, it is essential that if you really want to deliver an effective and powerful presentation. I am known by my friends, my fellow teachers, even my students for staying up late the night before a big presentation, practicing over and over. If you really want to do well in your presentation, you need to practice. You need to prepare, write, and practice your presentation. In one article that I read, it says that you will present better if you have prepared effectively. This does not necessarily mean that you have written out your speech and rehearsed it until you know it by heart. It does, however, mean that you have to be confident that you are saying the right thing in the right way to the right people. Number two, simplify your presentation. Every conference platform has its own distinctive way of sharing and displaying slides. I know that you've tried Zoom, Google Meet, or even Microsoft Teams. You must avoid technical hassles by designing simple, easy-to-read slides. Avoid too much animations or use of colors and sounds. Place text in the center instead of the edges of the slides because they may not display correctly in the screens of your audience. Many online listeners are likely to do multitasking or they easily get distracted and we don't want that when we are doing our presentation. To prevent them from missing your main point, you need to deliver your key message quickly and do not waste time. And additional reminders on how to create effective and yet simple presentations. Remember the text to support the communication, pictures to simplify complex concepts, animations for complex relationships, visuals to support and not to distract. Sounds only when absolutely necessary. Number three, aside from making sure that we are ready to present, we need to do some technical preparation. Now, we do not only worry if we can connect to our audience. We also worry if we can connect to the internet, right? But like what they say, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So let's try to focus on what we can control. Remember the following. 1. Wi-Fi connection is better than mobile connections. Number 2. When worse comes to worse, have a backup laptop, tablet, or even your phone. Number 3. Download a PDF version of your presentation to pull out in case there's a technical problem encountered when you are presenting. Number 4. Close any unnecessary applications to ensure that they don't interfere with your web conferencing software. And lastly, practice 
and familiarize yourself with the platform you are using. Additional tip before we proceed to the next point. Drink two glasses of water before you present. You need to hydrate yourself. And our last tip, number four, during presentation, connection is the key. So speak loudly and clearly with fluctuations. When speaking, you need to be clear and concise all the time. And then you also have to maintain eye contact. Most of the time, try your best to look at the camera and not your monitor. Talk directly to the people. The best presentation is delivered as a conversation to every person in the audience in this setup. And if you want to be believed, talk to every individual, person to person. Look at them in the eye. Look at your camera all the time. Number three, body language. Do not shy away from the person to whom you are speaking. Be sure to maintain a relaxed but not slouching posture, regardless whether you are the one speaking or the one listening. Other things that ensure your body is communicating your attentiveness to the conversation can include the following. Eye contact, facial expressions, nodding occasionally to acknowledge a strong point in the conversation, or even hand movements matter. Number four is your attire. Wear your regular workplace casual clothes. I suggest that when you pick an outfit, Avoid distracting patterns or multicolored shirts. Try your best to use solid colors because solid colors are the best. You want people to focus on your message and not your clothes. Next tip that you have to remember, light up your face. If the lighting in your room is not optimal, set up a desk lamp maybe behind your laptop. And lastly, make sure that they can hear you and only you. Ideally, you have to look for a quiet room. However, working from home with your partner, your kids, or your dogs makes it less of an ideal setting for controlling background noise. You can mitigate this challenge by investing in a good headset with a built-in microphone that cancels and neutralizes outside sounds. You can even have condenser mic like the one I'm using. I also suggest that you turn off your phone and other noisy computer notifications to avoid distractions. There you have it. In this presentation, I was able to present to you three important points on how to give an effective online presentation. Number one, connect to oneself. Prepare, practice, and be patient, okay? Number two, connect to your internet. Tech preparation is very important, so you have to remember all the tips that I mentioned. And number three, connect to your audience. Your body language, the tone of your voice, and the engagement of your participants are very, very important. I wish you all the best, and I hope that you remember during the first part of this presentation we mentioned that a great presentation does not only happen. It is planned, rehearsed, and delivered with flair. With that, I would like to say thank you to everyone and God bless you.